100 years ago this month, explorer George Bass sailed a small boat down the east coast to prove that Tasmania was separate from the Australian mainland. Now, five modern day adventurers are within two days of re-enacting one of the greatest feats in Australian maritime history. It's easy to imagine it's 200 years ago off the Victorian coast. For 29 days, these five adventurers have rowed and sailed a 28-foot whaleboat from Sydney. Someone came out early this morning and uh, yesterday and said the natives are friendly, so we said we'll come ashore. It's an authentic reenactment of George Bass's historic voyage of discovery down the east coast. It not only follows the same route, the sailors will reach their goal of Western Port exactly 200 years to the day since Bass achieved the feat. It must be just as Bass saw it 200 years ago. Bass had no maps to guide him, only scant provisions and a leaking boat to contend with. And they lived on salt pork and um, ship's biscuits and they got short of food near Seal Cove and they kill, killed the seals to, to cook and eat and chew the blubber and so we didn't have to do any of that. But in the interests of authenticity, they did contemplate it. We saw a seal on the beach at Fly Cove that had been washed up, a little seal pup. We did think about it. The modern day sailors are in awe of the hardships endured by those early mariners. This voyage is not only generating new interest in bass, it's also raising funds to help victims of child abuse. Bass was a naturalist, surgeon and explorer, but he's best known for establishing that Tasmania is separate from the mainland. He just didn't have quite the boat to get across and eight months later he did it in the, um, in the Norfolk. And reenacting that voyage late this year is 73-year-old Bern Cuthbertson's next goal. Timothy Lee, ABC News, South Gippsland.